welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor ranga rao karanam when we talk about microservices architectures we talk about service discovery in this video we would be talking about what is service discovery why is it important in microservices architectures and how you can set it up in your application. When we talk about microservices architectures, we are talking about a number of small microservices talking with each other. One of the important things about microservices architectures is a feature called auto scaling. You might have 10 instances of microservice five at some point, but at a later point in time, you might have 11, 12, 13, and these instances vary based on the load. Now, how does microservice four know how many instances of microservice 5 are present and how does it distribute the load among all of them how do you ensure that whatever load is coming from microservice 4 is distributed among all the active instances of microservice 5 one of the ways you can do that is by hard coding the microservice 5 urls in microservice 4 what would happen in that kind of situation every time a microservice 5 a new instance is created or an existing instance is deleted what you need to do is update the configuration which is present in microservice 4 and that's a big headache right so you don't want to be able to do that as soon as the load is increasing on microservice 5 you would want to be able to create new instances and automatically microservice 4 should be able to distribute the load among all the instances and that's where the service discovery concept comes into picture the naming server comes into picture what would happen with a naming server is all the instances of your microservices so if it has five instances all these register with a naming server so when a microservice 4 needs to find out where a specific microservice 5 is present it needs to talk to the naming server it will ask the naming server where is this microservice deployed and it would get an answer back saying okay there are five instances of this microservice and these are the urls Microservice 4 would take that answer and would be able to talk to the specific instance it would need to be able to talk to. This helps in keeping everything dynamic. Let's look at an example. So let's say there's a concurrency conversion service which is talking to another service called Forex service. At specific instance, there might be two instances of currency conversion service, but there might be five instances of Forex service. And whenever you make a call from concurrency conversion service instance to a forex service instance, you'd want to make sure that it's distributing the load between all active instances. So the questions are basically, how does the currency conversion service know how many instances of forex service are active? And how does it distribute the load between the active instances? In this specific video, we are not focused on distributing the load. We are focused on how does the currency conversion service know how many instances of forex service are active that's the question which is answered by having service discovery or location transparency so what would happen is we would bring a naming server eureka is one of the naming servers which are present so as soon as a instance of a specific microservice is brought up what would happen is it would register with eureka so it's registering with eureka instance 2 also registers with eureka the forex service instances also register with eureka when a forex service needs to talk to the currency conversion service it would ask eureka it says give me the instances of forex service and eureka would give back the two urls it would say okay this is your instance one this is your instance two go ahead and use that and talk to the forex service what would what we are using in here is a load distribution a client side load distribution framework called ribbon so what would happen is ribbon would take those two instances and make sure that the load is distributed between those two forex server instances in this video we talked about service discovery and how you can implement service discovery using naming server we talked that our dynamic scaling is one of the most important features of microservices and service discovery enables that in 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like udemy safari online and pact we have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months the question is what do you want to learn next we are building solutions to help programmers at all levels 
You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python, and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.